Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. For today's review, we're going to take a look at the DC Comics Multiverse Batman Super Heavy Jim Gordon Batman from the King Shark series. So, basic uh, multiverse packaging, window in the front, image of the figure on the side, of the character I mean, King Shark Bath on the back, and other figures in the series. Pretty standard. And let's get this guy open. And here is the inside. So I've already taken the King Shark Bath part out. You can see the figure comes with an alternative unmasked head and a gun. And here he is, out of the packaging. So let's take a look at the unmasked um, head first. The sculpting on the head is pretty nice, uh, paint job is pretty basic, but um, everything is kind of neat, so that's good. Not sure about the hairstyle, but I guess that's part of the design of the character. And um, yeah, it's a decent looking head sculpt. And here is his little gun. I'm not sure exactly what type of gun it's supposed to be, but it looks pretty rubbish to me. I mean, it may be comic accurate, but it's not a very attractive looking gun, to be honest. Back to the figure, so I'll just do a quick head swap. Pull that off, it's on a tiny ball peg. It is quite tight, so I just don't want to break that peg. Hopefully, it's strong enough. And here he is with the unmasked head. And it sits on the body quite nice. Looks decent. Definitely not um, what I imagined Jim Gordon to look like. But then again, I don't read the comics, um, this comic, so can't really comment on that. And let's put his gun in his hand. And it fits okay. I mean, the handle is kind of squarish, where his hand is round, the hole in his hand is round. So it doesn't fit in there very nicely, but he can hold it. And he can also put it in his holster on the side. And I guess it fits in there okay. Doesn't fall out, so that's kind of good. And um, let's have a look at, let's put the Batman head back on. And here's a closer look at the figure itself. Um, I really like the matte black finishing on the entirety of the body. It's quite nice and um, the yellow detail um, really pops on the matte black body. And this green, sorry not green, grey garter belt looks cool as well. And the um, holster kind of looks nice as well there. Um, in terms of the head sculpt, I guess it's not bad. It does look like an unmasked or masked version of this head, so I guess that's that's a good thing. Um, the mouth is slightly wider opened than the unmasked head. Um, the ear is a little bit bent, but I guess you can heat it up and bend it back straight. The body is pretty nice. Um, not much to comment about this body. It's pretty basic. Good sculpting detail in the musculature. This belt does move a little bit. I think it's probably glued in at the front and also maybe at the back as well. But it does wiggle around a little bit. And you got some detailing in the suit, which is quite cool. Not much on the top, just on the bottom here with these lines. Now that I think about it, I think the top is lacking a bit of detail. Would have been nice to see these detailed lines in the top half of the suit as well. And with articulation, again, with DC Multiverse figures, I'm not sure why, but they can't seem to look up or down very much at all. Tiny little bit there, but it goes all the way around. For the shoulders, you can lift them up this high, rotate all the way around, I think. It does get a little bit tight. And back down, okay. Bicep swivel, single joint elbow, which gives him 90 degrees. 
uh, swivel joint for the wrist and with his abs he can crunch forward that far and crunch back that far and he's got swivel joint at the waist and with the legs he can split this far on this side and with this side it does push the holster out of the way but yep he can do splits and kick forward that far and back only that far as it restrict uh, as it um, interferes with the buttocks and bicep swivel just above the knees single jointed knee joint about 90 degrees and ankle can pivot down that far and up that far which is good for running poses and there doesn't appear to be any um, ankle pivot or ankle rocker so that's a bit of a letdown again with DC multiverse figures and measuring to the top of his ears he comes in at about 165 millimeters uh, or 16.5 centimeters which is roughly 6.5 inches and now for some size comparisons first up is DC icons uh, Batman here he is with SH figure arts injustice Batman here he is with Mayfax BVS Batman here he is with Batman Unlimited The Dark Knight Returns Batman and finally here he is with Marvel Legends Cyclops on the whole this is a pretty decent looking Batman um, it's a very simple suit design but it's executed relatively well um, the black matte black um, color scheme contrasting with the yellow really works for me I really like that bit of paint blemish there that I didn't point out before um, and there's a few little swirl marks in the plastic which um, kind of detracts from its very simple and clean looking design um, not a huge fan of this hairstyle but I guess if it's in the comics and it's co uh, comic accurate I guess it's fine the other thing is um, really do not like this gun it doesn't look very um, how do I say doesn't look like a gun to me at all but anyway it's probably comic accurate as well I'm not sure but overall it's a good little addition to any Batman collection I, I think um, it's a pretty basic figure but um, yeah I really dig the uh, color contrast between the black and the yellow and that pretty much sums up the review and I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time for another toy review